Hello. In this video, I will show you how to do things fast without robot. Um, you can do things fast with our enhanced web browser. You can also one click to the right whole articles. Um, in this enhanced web browser, it can automatically solve capture, one click, change proxy, get PR page rank quickly. You can get page rank for an uh, individual website. Here, click this PR. You can get PR for this individual website, PR9 for Twitter. You can get PR for um, search results website. For example, Google. Um, if you have search results, you can get it quickly. For example, uh, let's do something. If you want to post um, to post a comment to high PR blogs, how do you do? Do this. Powered by what? WordPress. Your keyword. Twitter followers. So when you click on this PR, it will get the page rank for all the search results quickly, and uh, it will also put this link and the PR into file automatically. Uh, those are my previous search. This is the last search I have. Um, TechCrunch, Web Beginner, Business Writer. So after I get all of those links I can go to my next um, page click PR it will get the page rank again and append those uh, website um, to my file with the empty line in the middle so you know this is the first search this is the second page of the search okay after you get those if you want only post on high PR web page, what you can do is uh, delete low PR site. Delete three. Delete three, one, two, three, one, zero. Okay, now you have those uh, high PR page, high PR URLs. You can use define quick link. Click here. Paste to it. Click OK all of those links will be imported and the, the first column is page rank you can double click to go to that web uh, website quickly and uh, because you are filling out the blog comments you need to go to the end here is the comments you can type in the comments typing those name email website um, comments yourself uh, or use our system there's a better way, uh, there's a faster way for you to do it if you are working on many, many websites. So click define variable. You can define variable and then use double click to do things faster. Uh, you, when, you s you, when you see there's an email address, you can select email. This is the email address you already have. Say OK. So when you select email, your first name, last name, username, email will be populated. and uh, Click here, what name field is author. So you want the author to be a first name. So you want your first name entered here. Double click to see. Okay, your first name already entered, email already entered. The website is missing. You can enter your website. Um, automatedwebbrowser.com double click okay this is field and uh, Twitter you can enter your Twitter account name or you leave it empty it's not a required field then you can enter your comments you can type in your comments um, all the data spinnable and I did not use spin for name email and the website because normally they you should keep use those data and uh, the comments you can use different data you can use just uh, for example two three five you can enter very very long comments okay six click add then double click 
you will see your comments is filling automatically. And every time you double click, it will use your spin the data, uh, use different data. After that, you click add comments. Then one website is done. Then you can go on to the second website. And all the other website, it will be very easy for you. You can just double click. It will fill out those form automatically for you. And all you need is review if the data is correct and then click on submit. Okay, let's double click. All the data fill out automatically. Then you can go on, uh, click submit comment. Then go on to next site, double click to fill out the form. Next site, double click. So it is very easy and very fast. Another thing you can do, um, another thing you can use uh, to speed up your web uh, process is define variable. You already see after I defined these variables, I can use double click to fill out this form quickly. So if you have other forms, you can define some variables and then save variable to uh, for example, this is comments um, Twitter Twitter comments. So this comments, for example, because you have defined this, it is used for Twitter blogs, and uh, they will be available here. Twitter comments. When you double click here, your all of those data will be uploaded for you and then you can easily go to any website and uh, double click to fill out those form. So here I already defined two other um, variable. One is TAT. For this variable I have this um, email address and uh, this uh, uh, username and uh, the website. For example I want to use different uh, website. This one I don't have the website. I can use URL to define website as uh, yahoo.com so you see this is yeah uh, I can also even define my email to to this make sure you are send very good email um, okay you see when I double click this form it use this data then if I go back to Twitter comments and double click it to use this data. So it is very easy to switch between different um, variable set. Uh, for example, use this as a profile. You can switch easily switch between different profile to work on different website quickly. And also you can define Michael's and uh, here then use double click to run Michael. When you click select all to run, you can use double click to run Michael. Uh, to do things faster. For example, uh, you can create macros that check out if this web page is do follow or not do follow and uh, then double click on it. Let's try it. I want to edit. Uh, I want to check if if this is the tag if to check web page is do follow or no follow this is the text I want to check. If web page contains no follow, then I will go to no follow. Um, go to um, no follow one. No follow message. Right? I can copy. And uh, some website is like this. No follow. I also go to no follow message. Otherwise, I will just display. Say this site is. This site do follow. Okay. This is the uh, flags. No follow message is the flags. This go to end. No follow message is uh, I display a message say this site is no follow okay done then I s customer save this micro to check no follow okay it's already here check out run 
this side is no follow. This side no follow. WP beginner side no follow. Okay, then you can right mouse click view source. Let's see if no follow. Yeah, it is no follow. The website has those REA or no follow. This is the stream we are looking. There are so many no follow, and uh, this is a uh, um, this is in their reply reply to comment. This is in their reply. It also say no follow. So this is an easy way to ex extend those buttons to add a new function uh, to this browser to uh, quickly check out no follow or follow. Double click. This site is no follow. And another example is if you want to capture screen. You can also um, edit, delete this one. Uh, there's a command to say copy screen. Then you use this uh, file name. You save it to um, copy screen. Then you can double click it. It will save your file, save your screenshot to this file name uh, easily. So you can expand, uh, add many, many more micros to speed up your web process and um, um, it's very helpful uh, a very enhanced and a very powerful web browser okay that's all for this video and uh, thanks for watching have a good day